Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a tutorial on spring greens and let me zoom you in so you can see. It's using mostly MAC products except for the NYX Milk Pencil and the NYX um, White Pearl Loose Eyeshadow. Um, I use Aquavert and Humid and it's a really nice look. It goes well with spring and summer coming up. I use my Studio Sculpt Foundation and the Fun and Games blush from the Hello Kitty and also my new Chanel lip gloss called Jupiter which I got for Mother's Day from my husband. So once again the tutorial if you want to see how to get this look keep on watching. I will warn you that my two-year-old daughter and you can hear her in the background she screamed and she was having a blast and um, you can hear my husband and my stepson talking as well. So sorry about that. I have a family so I can't really tell them all to go in the back room so it's not fair to them. But anyway if you want to see how I get this look and hear my kids and my family keep on watching. Okay, I am. I have already applied my Urban Decay Primer Potion, and now I am going to apply NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk, which is a matte white. I'm just going to apply this on my lid, and this, a little of this goes a really long way. So just like that. And now I'm going to smear it all the way up to my brow bone. And you'll see what I mean by a little goes a long way. And it's very creamy and everything, so you don't have to tug very much either, which is nice. Because so I just want a really thin layer so it doesn't crease for some reason. I don't know why it's doing that, I think because I have dry skin a little bit. And this just gives a nice sticky base for my eyeshadows. Okay, now I'm going to start off with NYX Ultra Loose Ultra Mania Pearl in white. And I'm going to take my MAC 239, well it's the low Cornell one, and I am going to place this in the inner corner with padding motions. And take it up a little bit above the crease. And also apply this to the inner corner as well. Just going to apply a little bit more, I want this to be very vibrant. like so. Now I'm going to take my MAC palette and this loose eyeshadow is going to fall off and I'm going to take Aquavert which came out with the Sugar Sweet collection. I'm going to apply this right next to the white and also take that a little bit above the crease. And kind of just pat that as well. I'm also going to overlap them and blend the white and the aquavert together. And this is just a really beautiful, like, minty green color. And it's, it has a little bit of shimmer. It's a really gorgeous color. But the white base will help it to stick better. Like so. Helps it show up a little better. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm going to take Humid right there, which yeah, is yeah. a dark green color. Sorry, my two-year-old yeah. is talking in the background. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to take it first and outline the area that I want to do. Like that. And then I'm going to fill it in. Like so. And also overlap that with the aquavert. Like so. I'm 
I'm going to take a little bit more of the Aquavert on the other side of the brush, pick some up, and just kind of go over the line where the two meet just to kind of blend that out a little better so it's not like a harsh line of where the dark green meets the light green. I'm just going to pick up a little bit more of the humid and touch that up a little bit just so it doesn't look blotchy. I want it to be very strong. Like that. Pick up a little bit more of this. Touch that up. Looks good. I'm going to clean off my 239 brush. And I'm going to pick up some more of the Ultra Pearl Mania white color. And just apply that right under my brow as my highlight. And just tap that on so it goes on very nice and strong. And just take it all the way underneath your brow along the entire length of it. Like so. Now I'm going to take my MAC 217 brush and I'm going to take the Aquavert again and I'm going to use it as a blender color just to kind of blend everything out. I'm just going to take that like so and I'm going to come over here where the humid is and just start blending that up so it's not like one harsh line right there. And just kind of actually blend the humid just a little slightly into the crease like that. I'm going to clean off this brush so there's really nothing on it and just kind of blend this out a little further. Just like that. Now I'm going to take the edge of the 239 and dip that into humid so it's like that. And just put that on the lower lash line and I start it here because that's where the most color placement is going to be so that it gets lighter as it goes in. Now I'm going to apply my Urban Decay 24-7 liner in zero and my mascara and I will be right back. Okay I'm back and let me show you a good way if you don't want to use tape because I don't like using tape to get harsh lines. I take a q-tip, wet it down and just Put it there and twirl it as I move it up. And that gives you a very nice straight line without using tape, which is pretty nice because I don't like tape. It takes my makeup off and I just don't like it. So anyway, now to finish the look, I use my Givenchy Phenomenized Mascara, which I love. And now, because red and green, sorry, are complementary colors, I have this gorgeous red color lips, lip gloss from Chanel. And it is called Jupiter. It is a limited edition color. just came out. And it's got, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like gold and like multicolored uh, gl glitter in it. But it's small glitter. And let me show you how gorgeous this looks. It's super pigmented. You barely need any. This is literally my new love. I love it. And there it is. It's a nice dramatic look with a nice lip and Great thing about these is they are not sticky at all. I love it. This was my mother's take it from my husband. So, there you go. Sorry about the kids in the background, but that's what happens when you're a mommy. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day, and all the products are listed in the sidebar. And have a great night.